And now we go. We go do a challenge. So I'm going to drop a speaker on uh, Victor. Yes. Yes, the time has come. Now. Well, I missed it. Let's do the main one. Because there are still some challenges that we have not done. And we have different ways that we can uh, plan our way in. A different start location, for instance. Yeah, I see a safe house or the undercover in mansion as a gardener. Assassinate Silvio with an explosive golf ball. Oh, well, okay. Safe house. Oh, okay. Gun. An explosive golf ball. So, I have the explosive golf ball. I uh, will go ahead and leave that there so he can hit it and, and blow up. And there we go. Hey, I, I found an old box of VHS. Oh. Talk it down. Oh, Next that was up, Francesca him decides. exploding. Can we see it from here? <laughs> just the aftermath. That I'd just be smooth. I just leave it there and, uh. You know. What happens, happens. By candlelight. Francesca oh, DeSantis is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas. A notorious ladies' man, Vargas has turned DeSantis' bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso. Well, she should know better than to mix business with pleasure. That man is no longer going to be doing golf lessons. It's me. Roberto, Silvio let you off early? I want us to meet. Your room. Mm, I should say no. But you won't. See you soon. Nicely done, 47. DeSantis will be here shortly. I suggest you get in the mood. Oh, yes. Quite the mood. This guy's got the uh, personality of a robot. That is Francesca DeSantis. Candles, my favorite. You are impossible, Roberto. Look, don't talk. Just listen for a second. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this I, I, under the right circumstances. We... Yes. The situation, it's complicated. You see, Ether, the company I work for, they didn't just send me here to assist Caruso. They sent me here to spy on him. Don't say. They fear he is becoming a liability. Intel. A threat, even. And from what I have seen so far, I think they might be right. This could be dangerous, and I thought you deserved to know. So, <laughs> well, now you know.
Excuse me. I meant to use the cord on her. You didn't tell me your cousin was back in town. Ah, do I detect a certain attraction to the dashing private detective from Milan? Oh, what of it? He's cute. Actually, uh, well, I really shouldn't tell you this, but he's here about a case. The client is Francesca DeSantis. You know, the, the female doctor that's staying at the Villa Caruso. Hmm. Wonder what she wants with the snoop. Well, you, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Where'd you see him, anyway? A couple of streets over, sleeping on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Sal for you. Huh. Hi. Sal Falcone. Do you have a minute? Sorry for the delay. I needed uh, to uh, tie up some few loose ends. Yeah, yeah, just got it down. Down at the pier? Sure. Straight away? All right, no time like the present. Um, see you in a bit. Just call her over here, sir. Yeah, I know. Just sexy voice. Go disguise yourself as the uh, detective. Oh, that lady right there did not see that. Stop immediately! Stop it! Holy shit! Someone, please help me! VIP is down. Hello? Huh? Are you all right? I'm just gonna pretend none of that happened. You know, they got their own issues to, to work with. Good thinking, 47. DeSantis will arrive shortly. This is one time the dame won't fool the detective. And here she is. The lady of the hour. That is Francesca DeSantis. Yes, it is. Ah, Mr. Falcone. Looking slightly out of place. So, uh, what's this about? Oh, walk with me. This is all too public for my tastes. Uh, this is far enough. Mr. Falcone, what I am about to ask you might be... Go on. About a month ago, Silvio Caruso hired you for an acquisition job. I need to know what exactly it was you acquired and why. I'm afraid I can't do that. P.I. Confidentiality. I, I, I am willing to pay you handsomely. You could retire. Hire others to dig through garbage. Don't think so. I like to get my hands dirty. <sighs> If you wanted to claim the moral high ground, you could have done so over the phone. Saved us both a trip. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Dr. Lafayette speaking. Just so. I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying a coffee in the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Hmm, very well. Don't you worry. Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. It seems yeah. Ether Management is concerned about Silvio Caruso's mental health, no doubt due to his mental breakdown last year. They have hired world-renowned psychologist Dr. Oscar Lafayette to treat the neurotic bioengineer. The session will no doubt take place in private, and furthermore, our records show that Caruso and Lafayette have not previously met. Mm. 
Well, well, well. Get a waiter disguise. Ooh. Oh god, yep, I was right. Crime was noticed. Notice anything. I'm not compromised, you're compromised. Poison Dr. Lafitte's coffee. Do I have poison on me? I do. How can I do this without anybody noticing? Oh, I guess I could just do it and it's not going to be an issue. I'm a waiter. This is a thing we do. Let me just... Thank you. Therapist 47. Yep. I'm gonna drag him and dump him. Here, Mr. Santos? Hello. Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. Wonderful. May I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well... I only hope you are as good as they say. Don't worry. I am. Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if you... Right. A private therapy session with Caruso. Nicely done, 47. The renowned Dr. Oscar Lafayette. Mr. Caruso, shall we begin? If you insist. So, Ether sends a specialist to my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it obvious? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella, would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses, my anxiety, my social phobias. Not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all... Deeply rooted. Go on. I had talk about that sweater vest you got tied around your neck. In high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy. Bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did. For a short while, anyway. Then Mother decided that Emilio wasn't a good influence on me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. <laughs> he was 20, roguish, rode a motorcycle. Yeah, Mother, you're compared to him at all. She had pictures taken, showed them to me on prom night. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you. Shamed and belittled you. Made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, her last and loyal son, from ever leaving too. He's a really good therapist. Stop it. I don't want to hear it. Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? How dare you? Yeah, we're gonna smother you now. Two targets down. Now destroy the virus.
this one. Like over here. Gotta get a hazmat suit in order to do that. I gotta get into that little office. Come on. You. Yeah, I'm just gonna need you to uh, go in there. Why? No, come on. I definitely hit Y. That was such oh, bullshit. Uh, it's not a body, is it? Oh no! Oh my god. Are you insane? <laughs> Don't touch me! gonna get out of this way. Warning, dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Destroyed the virus. All objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go. How sweet it is just to leave. On a speedboat. Mission accomplished. So many challenges completed. Did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, and that. Oh, yeah, that. We did that. We did that, too. And that. Oh, we definitely did that. And that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's keep it going. Mansion garage. Different way to start. We got poison now. Good, I got lethal poison I can start with. We can even start in the bio lab. Destroy that thing first. Only three, because we were spotted. Uh, bodies were found. <laughs> uh, we did take the recording out, though. We didn't actually kill anyone, so, you know, we're getting better. Yeah, level 11 out of 20 on that one. We're doing great. Okay, I think we're doing terrific. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game of Hitman. Goodbye.